All right, so do you prefer if I call you Test? Is that? Yeah, you. Do you have any 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 preference? Uh, matter of fact, my my real name is. So you could just you could just call me that. Gotcha. That's my middle name. <laughs> Come on, that's your middle name. Yeah, yeah. If I could get you kind of like right here, looking at the camera. If you want to take one step to your left. Perfect, right there. Keep your feet exactly where they are for this take, but everything upper body you can kind of move. You'll also find that I like to do different focal lengths of the same shot for variation. Kid at the candy store right now. Hey, <laughs> camera's rolling. Ready to go again? Yep. It's lyrically so good. <laughs> yes, sir. We're gonna cut there. Great. All right, let's move on. Let's do that shot that I was talking about before. That low, super wide with you kind of by the right on the street there so i'll help you set up with that in just a moment figure out how to wrangle all of my belongings dude i fuck with the tims i used to have a pair but then i just royally beat them up i ain't gonna lie you can kind of do that with some tims it's not as bad yeah, that's true so test uh alan if you want to come with me so right where this little ray of sunlight is here like right on the edge of the the street i think it would be super dope if you were kind of like right here just kind of pacing back and forth just kind of rapping to yourself forget that the camera's there right there. and we just have this huge wide shot and we see the alleyway the city and you're just kind of in there that's cool cool gotta stay hydrated today i'm already losing like a quart of water just through my skin i'm gonna balance it on a flashlight because we're all for we're all about innovation here that's actually such a sick shot if you're just off in your own headspace, just wrapping yourself, I really want to see your hand movements okay. too here. Okay. Like if you're talking to the sky too, like that's really dope. All right, camera's rolling, good to go. Yeah, I really wanted to get like immersed in the city kind of vibe. We out here balancing cameras on flashlights and shit. Gotta do what you gotta do for the shot, right? I wonder why this is here. <laughs> Did the person just get up and walk away? Cool, so if you can kind of step a little bit closer to me. Perfect, right about there is perfect. So for this one, you're kind of standing over the camera and you can kind of lean into it too. So like, like kind of, like come forward? Yeah. yeah they found me somewhere in the Gulf of was a dominant oil that was smoking and handcrafted for a prominent cause. All your confidence gone and poverty ain't got you robbing the store. And I ain't... Yes sir, let's cut. Great. Be kind of back there using the wall as a little bit of foreground. Again, if you kind of just forget that the camera's here, you're off in your own zone. It's kind of wrapping to yourself. We'll do some slow pans with it too. It'll, be look, it'll look really cinematic. You just want to kind of stay behind this line, behind the water line. And then in this direction, try not to walk past these two people. All right, let me know when you're ready. Let's wait for this person. All right, let me know when you're ready. Cool. What I'm doing with this shot, it looks really blurry. So like you're not I'm not really gonna see it. It's more or less just to get the motion for a transition. Cool, that's great, awesome. Alright, let's move on. Nodding to the beat. That'd be sick. And then I can shoot across the car and get Muhammad Ali in the back. Okay. And that'd be cool. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any other shots out here I want to do. Back on the flashlight we go. They have a really expensive tripod that can go really low to the ground too. This one can't do that, but I did not want to pay $2,200 for a tripod. And I just, I cannot bring myself to do that. And like a subtle push in, like just barely enough to see that the camera, or that it's zooming, but not enough to be distracting. Awesome, you can bring it back. That was great. I just dipped my knee in that shit. I wasn't even thinking, I was just... <laughs> Goodbye, flashlight. Awesome, dude, that's the shot that I wanted. That was great. And if you're okay with it, I think there's two more that I wanna do here and then we're done. So this next one, just while we have the open walkway, I'm gonna have you back where you were before with your feet against the wall, kinda just nodding to it. 
Camera's gonna be really high up here, almost like a security camera. Every once in a while, if there's a line that you feel like is more impactful, you can turn and kind of like say it to the camera and then go back into your own world. Okay. Whew. There we go. Oh man, I was cursed with short jeans. Me too. Oh! Just tall enough. Tall enough, yeah. <laughs> All right, camera's rolling. Let me know when you're ready. Just run through some B-roll and we can wrap this location. Let's start with you all the way down there. If we can kind of just walk up the alley this way, I'm gonna be in front of you, like looking around at everything. And as we're walking, just kind of look around at everything. Nice, that's great. All right, camera's rolling and action. I'm going to just run around the alley and get some quick shots of the graffiti and the scenery to throw in. So you're welcome to take a breather or whatever you feel like you need to do. Was there any graffiti that stood out to you that you want to incorporate in the video? Nothing really, nothing really other, other than the Mahamala thing. Gotcha. Okay. Then I'll just get random stuff for texture. Um, so I'm just using these like little insert shots as like whip pans to go from graffiti, bit of graffiti to bit of graffiti to bit of graffiti, if that makes sense. Man, this heat is something. Okay. Cool. Left. Nice. I really wanna buy one of those speakers that you can wear. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna take this off the tripod and do a couple handheld. You know how we do it. <laughs> nice and steady. When you don't have a Dana dolly, you have leg day at the gym. Definitely want to get the scaffolding if I can. I know for a fact what I just did looks so strange. Cool, get some blurry motion. This looks so stupid in real life, but I promise it's worth it in the edit. And I think there was like one like dripping thing that I saw earlier. Yeah, this one. I'm just punching really tight on that guy. And off center, just a slight bit. Cool, got it. All right, moving on. Location two. Cool, so these should be some quick, I cannot talk right now for some reason. Pretty quick shots here, we're in Fells Point. Just some walking shots, walking along, seeing the scenery. So this is the sound garden. Right here, and me just being like down the aisle, just coming up. Just you coming to me? Forever, yeah. Know, so. Definitely. Like if you're just in the middle, it'd be cool. Perfect, we got it. That was a perfect take. That's really all I wanted to do at Fells Point. But let's try to find that alley, an alley that you like, and then we can wrap this location. Let's have you round this corner on the uh, brothers and sisters line. That way it's, we can kind of cheat the side of the wall that you were on before. So I'll play it a little bit before, and then once you get to that brothers and sisters line, you're gonna round this corner, and you can kind of come out into the middle of the street and walk down that way. So I want to start like up here and kind of slowly come down and meet him. Sir, got it. Cohesive scene. Unless there's anything else. Oh yeah. I like seeing all the buildings around you and then like walking through the sun as you were coming down. 
promise, of course. I'm gonna keep testing the waters even though I see Joe. Let's do the let's do the hill scene first. That way we knock out everything that we came here to do. I don't wanna get you like directly in the sun. So I think this little shaded patch right there is the way to go. Yeah, right here's fine, yeah. There we go, that's a good shot. That's really nice. In this world, it's like a jungle. I'm here and I'm in this walls. Though I see I need to get a haircut. Yes, sir. Let's get one more here and then we're good. I'm not gonna bother moving that until we leave because holy shit, this hill is steep. And I'm gonna jump down the hill over there again and kind of shoot up. Yeah, and it'll just be you and the lamppost in the sky. A really minimalistic image. We're good to go. So I kind of want you to be like in this area. All right. And just again pacing back and forth. Okay. So that's like between the trees and the lamppost. Right. I'm just gonna put a tape marker there for you. Gotcha. So just don't cross that blue. And then on the left side, I don't expect you to, but don't cross, don't go past the light post. All right. <laughs> the camera battery just to end the sun like that is not good. Um, so just a little bit of B-roll that I want to do real quick. Kind of walk up to where you were and then stop and just kind of look out over the city. Yeah, if you want to backtrack to where I just started. All right, and you ready? And action. Nice and stop right there. It's great, cool. Just grabbing some b-roll of the harbor and I know that my hair is all over the place right now but when we're on set can't care about that kind of thing except in my consciousness I am caring about it because that's just the kind of person that I am and I'm talking just to talk right now it is so hot it's unbelievably hot getting levels cool if you could actually come up like right to the edge here oh, let me not kill someone today <laughs> One step to your right and then come forward a tad bit. So like right here is where I want you. Nice. That's great. Cool. And then your eye line for this shot. If you could be wrapping off towards that direction towards the World War II Memorial. Cool. Yeah, that's a great frame. I like that a lot. And just so that we're not a public disturbance. I'm going to play it kind of quietly. Earlier we had the moon here and the sky just moves so fast. Fix it in post. <laughs> and then the further away it is, the more dramatic I want you to be. Because the further away we are, the less we see of you. So I really want to emphasize the movements. But when we're close up, it's more personal. So let's move down just a tiny bit. That looks great. The lighting is so perfect right now. No, we're switching arms for this. Awesome. So let's keep your feet exactly where you are. I love doing these shots that you could theoretically do anywhere, but we drove all the way from Baltimore to DC to shoot at the reflecting pool. And this shot, the, we're at the reflecting pool, but we don't actually see it. It's always really funny to me. That's a really dope shot. Do you want to see that? Well, oh, I yeah. <laughs> well, I think of the next one. Beyond this one, we have a bunch of people like walking back and forth in front of you too in the oh, foreground. Yeah. And I think that is what really sells this shot. Because like, like that, I think just looks so sick. Right. That's dope. I like it. I ain't even got to watch the whole thing. Hell yeah. Just right there. Cool. And now we have the long ass trek to the stairs. And then that's a wrap in DC. <laughs> 88. Like side to side motion. Not, not really nothing in the front. Yeah, not nothing in the front. Everything either this way or that way. Hey. I'm so mad about this ramp. But we do what we can. At least we got some airplanes going over. I'm Tess Robson, 26 years old, from home of Louisiana. Out here with Rob, out here with Fee. We're shooting a video for Bledsoe off my project, not sure when I'll be home. Yeah, man, just trying to change it up. It's a different kind of sign where I'm at, but you know what I'm doing is I'm laying the foundation for other artists like myself. They're trying to get comfortable and do their thing, and that's for everywhere.